And Justin joins us now, and the NCAA women's bracket has been out for a few days now, but people still scratching their heads over that. Yeah, how did Green Bay end up a seventh seed? Well, that's really what we were trying to find out. I mean, they're the 10th ranked team in the country, according to the Associated right. Press. It's kind of interesting. Head coach Matt Bolon said after winning the Horizon League tournament, optimistically he wanted a three seed. Conservatively, he'd guess a five, but a seven. And you've been asking us on our Facebook page, on Twitter, and we've been wondering too, so we called the guy in charge. Greg Christopher, chairman of the committee that made the bracket. He said Green Bay had a great season, but there's one place the Phoenix really didn't quite stack up to the rest of the field, causing that seed to drop. One of the observations I think when we were talking about Green Bay was strength of schedule compared with some of the teams that are in that same uh, bandwidth as far as uh, those three to about eight lines. Non-BCS schools, they have to use those somewhere between 10 and 15 games that they get for non-conference uh, to really create a body of work that stands out. Everyone sees the polls, but the polls are just one thing they look at. Obviously, they didn't give a whole lot of credit to the polls. Um, which I, I'm not sure, sure I agree with. You got 31 head coaches doing it. You got a media that follow women's basketball, but uh, you know apparently that that wasn't important to them. Taking a look at the comparison between last season and this season, only one loss, virtually the same RPI, which is a formula that factors in strength of schedule. The strength of schedules. Pretty similar from 2010 to 2011 for the Phoenix. However, the committee this season, they only do this season, not last season. They didn't feel it was good enough. They got that seven seed.